everybody, Jody Spiegelhoff here from Spiegel Mom Scraps. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram or even on my Facebook page, it's Spiegel Mom Scraps on Facebook. Um, I've been sharing some watercolor cards that I've been making. I've kind of been in a little bit of a watercolor mood lately. Um, my mom asked me to make her a set of cards, so I've gotten busy the past couple weeks. So I just wanted to show you today really quickly how I make my watercolor cards. This is how one of them has turned out. Um, here are a couple of the other ones that um, I have made recently just with some white heat embossing with some Ranger uh, white embossing powder and the gold on there is Mr. Huey's gold um, spray. Another card with some watercolor and some heat embossing. And the embossing on here is uh, liquid platinum. It's also by Ranger. And that's this guy right here. It's beautiful. All right. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how I make my watercolor card. It's very easy. Uh, probably one of the main things I think that works well for me is using gesso. And I water it down. You can hear my daughter in the background. She keeps bringing me paper punches. Um, I use gesso and I water it down a little bit. So it's more runny, like a watercolor consistency. And that is to use either watercolors to paint with, or I've also used um, my distress inks. And with my distress inks, I'll use like a Stampin' Up water pen or whatever, um, just something along that lines. Here's one that I actually made with um, using that, using just the watercolor pens and then just, and my watercolors. And that is a silver embossed dragonfly on there. All right, so I'll get started. So just real quickly, I just use a little bit of the watered down gesso and just paint it on kind of just some random spots over the card. And this just gives my watercolor a nice base and a little bit of a uh, easier, I think, background to kind of blend on. And this is just regular card stock that I'm using. It's the Nina, I think it's a, I can't remember what pound it is, but it's Nina white card stock. And it's not watercolor paper. So then I just start putting my watercolor on kind of just randomly. I'm going to put mostly red and orange on this one. Otherwise, I usually work um, light colors to dark colors. But I'm going to mostly put red and orange on here. Here, Mommy. Oh, thank you, Abby. Are you helping me today? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Pumpkin. Then I just go all around here and the watercolor goes right over the embossment or embossing and it'll just, you know, it doesn't cover it up or anything like that. So it just shows right through. You could also heat emboss it afterwards. I just chose to do these beforehand. Okay, I'm going to actually throw a little bit more gesso on here. To blend it and kind of mute some of it a little bit. And then I'm going to take my yellow. Kind of splatter it on there like that. And also kind of fill in some of the little holes just with a little bit of yellow. There's really no rhyme or reason to how I'm putting the watercolor on here or, you know, where. I'm just kind of putting it on where I like it and where I think it looks cool. It's really pretty easy. All right, that one's just about done. I'll, to kind of top it off, one of the things I like to do is splatter a little bit more of the watered down gesso right on top of it. So I like to do that, and then I'm going to heat set it. And then I'm going to add a couple more right over the top of it. Kind of paint it right over that and it blends it right in. That's okay, so that's not quite dry yet. I want to add a little bit of this gold from Mr. Huey's right over it. I'm going to let that air dry while I'm starting to paint this one. This one I'm going to do a little bit different colors. I'm going to do some blues and greens. 
make sure you clean off your brush really well and get these wetted down all right Okay, so for this one, I'm going to do kind of like sunset colors. I'm also going to incorporate some purple in there. That's one of my sister's favorite colors is purple. So I'll make sure I get some purple in there for her because I'm sure one of these cards will end up going her way. All right, so while that's moistening up here, I'm going to add a little bit more gesso, wetting down gesso back to the top of this card. We'll set this one aside a little bit. All right, so. I don't like how that blue went on there to begin with, so you can just dab it right off. It's super easy. It is kind of important to work fast on here so that you get nice blending with the colors so they don't start to dry on you right away. And just kind of paint them on wherever. Make sure, make sure you cover most of the card or all of the card if that's the look that you want. On my other card I did leave you know some little spaces in there as well and then went back and filled in with the lighter color so there was little pops of yellow in there which is a really cool little effect you can do also. I also don't like to go too dark over my sentiment because I did emboss that first. So I don't want that to, the color to be too dark over there. Okay, so I'm going to go back and add some more of the aqua blue. And just really lightly brush it on. I'm going to leave a little bit more white space in this one. And then I'm going to spray it with some Studio Calico Shine. Okay, so here's the Studio Calico Shine. This has been around for a long time. Um, you can pretty much get it anywhere online. You can either let it air dry or heat set it. I get impatient, so I do like to heat set it. And it starts to show off a really, really, really pretty shimmer. You have your backpack on, pumpkin? Alright, and now I do want to add just a couple pops of this gold. See how cool that looks? All right. Okay, these are mostly dry. They're just a little bit, a little bit wet yet. You can kind of see some of the wetness, I think, if I bring this up closer. So there's how the orange and red and yellow one turned out. And here's how the purple and blue one turned out. Now one more cool thing I do want to show you before we go is on a couple of the other cards you'll notice that I had some, you know, paint kind of dripping down um, on the card. So I just want to show you really quickly how I do that. So I'll get a brush nice and wet and kind of just put it over the top like that. See how it kind of creates almost like a little waterfall up there. And then I take some of the gesso and it just automatically starts to run down the card. And then you can kind of make it go every which way and make it go down like that. So that looks pretty cool. Another way to move that water around is with your heat, heat gun. And then if you want it to be not quite so prominent, you can just dab a little bit off like I do too, which just softens it up just a little bit. But you still have like the watermark going down there. All right, my friends. 
Well, thank you very much for joining me today, and here's a look at how I make my watercolor cards. And then after this video is finished, um, in just a few seconds, you'll see some pictures of how I finish them off. All right, thanks for joining me today. See you later.